Good day and welcome to today's Living Word. I'm Dwayne Mass. We're continuing to talk about this word meek today because I think the word gets a bad rap. You know, if you were to use it in a word association game, you're likely to hear words like pushover, pansy, weakling, and so on. But as we learned yesterday, meek is better described as power under control. And just think about this. Jesus and his life on earth was a demonstration of power under control, wasn't it? I mean, even when that lady with the bloody issue touched his garment, he could feel the power go out from him. But even that power was controlled and measured by the Father, and she received just enough to heal her. Without being under control, it would have been like touching a high voltage wire, and she would have been fried on the spot. And Jesus was aware of this allotment of power. He felt it leave him. It was power under control. And then he told Peter, after Peter had cut off the ear of the servant of the high priest, he said, why are you relying on your puny little sword? Don't you know that I could appeal to the Father, and he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels? That's power under control. Hey, if you're the Christ, come down from here. That's power under control. Then there's Moses. Did you know that the Bible says that Moses was the meekest man of his day? That doesn't sound right, does it? Well, Numbers 12, 3 says, now the man Moses was very meek, more than all people who were on the face of the earth. And somehow, we just don't equate meekness with Moses, do we? Yet think about it. He was definitely a living example of power under control. Whose control? God's control. Because he had committed himself to God. He had surrendered his strength to God. And look what strength and power God released through him to deliver his people. Look at the power that God has released through Jesus to deliver us from sin, death, and the devil. David demonstrated meekness in his treatment of Saul. He had every right to wipe him out. He had more than one opportunity to do it too. But he waited for and relied on God's strength and timing in this matter rather than his own. It was power under control. You know, the meek have a very interesting character trait. They seek the Lord and they desire to do his commands. Zephaniah 2.3 says, Seek the Lord, all you meek of the land, who do his just commands. It's what the meek do. They don't rely on their own wisdom or strength or the wisdom and strength of the world. They rely on God. And they demonstrate their reliance by seeking his commands and then doing them. And you know what? I'm told that the meek shall inherit the earth. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.